Hey, it's good afternoon here. Jeff with Sea Rapids Construction doing a video of our uh, Leo and Sarah bathroom remodel. I am actually in the shower. You caught me in the shower. Um, this thing is pretty amazing. It's the Onyx walls. I've done a couple videos on this shower already, but uh, wanted to get the final video we were doing or just had the final inspection uh, for electrical and um, building today and plumbing was like a week and a half ago. Um, so we just finished that and I'm just going to get the last final video and pictures of the job before we get out of here for good. So here's the toilet room. Didn't do much in here. Paint, new toilet floor, trim, um, the toilet paper holder. And here uh, we had to pull doors off. We actually put new hinges on all the doors, re the doors. And went ahead and put black hinges on for the customer also. Uh, just one of those value add things there. And so this job, a new bath fan, uh, light in the shower, widen the shower foot, it was a four foot shower, widen it an extra foot, new pan, onyx walls, onyx niche, onyx corner caddy, onyx foot, uh, foot shaving shelf, um, black uh, shower door, barn door style we actually found this the homeowner actually found this and said they found it on uh, i think they found it on pinterest or something and he's like we, we like the style and uh i'm like well i can't find anything close to it or close enough that is similar enough so we went and actually bought it off of pinterest and uh delivered on a semi and a huge crate and the guy said it was pretty simple put together um decent price it's actually looks like a pretty decent door, decent seal and stuff on it, so that's what we went with. Always got to try different stuff. So we got some nice little shower robe hooks here on the wall behind the shower. Reuse the existing windows and trim. Put some new casing on it. There, uh, here's the tub. This is a six foot tub. Standard tub is five foot. This is six foot, so you can pretty much completely soak in there. Um, pretty comfortably. It's jetted, it's fully jetted. Uh, it's got the nice uh, twist and turn drain uh, cooler set up there. Um, pretty fancy. This has got the uh, pull up here to turn on the wand. This has a built in wand, deck mount. This is actually Delta with a cooler drain. I guess I just noticed that, but nobody know the difference unless you look really close at the etching down here, underneath here. It's not a big deal, but it's black and looks good. Um, got the floating shelves here. Those turned out really nice. Place to put some extra products or something in your bathroom if you'd like. I have the Delta two handle, eight inch widespread there. Nice little pop up. I really like these. Uh, Delta pop up. This one's integrated right into it. It's pretty slick. Space saving. If you install enough countertops and bathroom tops, you know that the space back here can sometimes be tight depending on the sink that people purchase. So having this in place like this is really awesome versus the handle that comes out back at an angle. Um, custom purchase mirrors. They're pretty nice. I like those. Nice little detail on corners. Uh, light fixtures, pretty slick. Put some nice 60 watt clear bulbs in there. Those are on a dimmer also. Uh, floating shelves here in the corner. Uh, more towel hooks. Updated uh, devices, all new white devices. Dimmers, um, door stops on everything. The new black hinges, new black hardware. Door stop. Tile flooring, super nice. It's a gray. 12 by 24 um, all the lines match up it looks pretty good these are a thermal foil cabinet here they're an overlay it's not painted or stained it's an actual overlay which i wasn't really sure on it when i first saw it but it's got a really nice grain to it it's such a real sleek look I like it a lot turned out pretty nice um, the simple super simple hardware on the drawers just simple uh, poles clean Looking to kind of go along with the fixtures. Um, again, we added uh, a couple lights up up here. 
just had a big corner garden tub in it. Came out about where that outlet is. It came out like a new angle here across the front and dove back in to where the four foot shower was before. So this whole corner of this bathroom was this bathtub in the simplest, cleanest way. And this actually makes this bathroom look like 10 times bigger by setting that tub over on that wall, opening this face up in here, uh, doing that tile surround. Looks pretty clean. Nice integrated top. I kind of like the idea of having the, uh, the drop down. We did the drop down just to give it a little more um, a sleek look instead of just one uniform. It would look like a hotel room if you had one piece top that came across there. So it's a nice little recess offset there. Uh, towel bar there. Fresh paint. You know, we got the timer for the fan. Light for the two double switch for the bathroom closet light or for the closet light and then for the um, shower light there in one. That's kind of it in the whole thing there. Um, pretty, nice, pretty nice bathroom, a nice job for us. It took a, took a little longer. Um, we had had it substantially done and usable pretty much a couple weeks ago, but we had some delays with Thanksgiving. I think we started right like the weekend before Thanksgiving. And then delays for Christmas, we shut down for Christmas, so we had a week delay there. And uh, other than that, our subs have been really great on this. Um, the one thing that I did, I thought was kind of funny, was uh, the electrical inspector did the uh, the uh, building final also. And on the outside of that door, we had to re we had to reset that door because whoever built this house did not know how to set doors. That door had a big gap in it, and it was out of plumb. So we reset that door, and then when we reset the trim, there was a little gap. Uh, on the paint line from the old paint to you know the paint behind the old casing and that edge wasn't painted um, I think the uh, painter was actually here yesterday doing touch-ups and I think he just missed it but that wasn't painted just like a sliver along the whole edge of the door trim the inspector said that uh, he wanted me to send a picture of that being done to their office to make sure it got completed this part of the final and I'm like I kind of laughed at him I'm like really he's like yeah I'm like well since when does like touch up paint have anything to do with the final inspection? He's like, well, we're just trying to stay on top of contractors these days. I'm like, but well, we're the last, we're one of the last contractors you have to worry about for stuff like that. So I was literally getting my paintbrush out of the truck then as soon as I noticed it. So it's kind of funny, but I took a picture of it. I painted it, sent the picture into the building department so they can see that the paint is completed. So that's how, A, how picky we are and how picky our inspectors are here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. But we do good work and we strive to do good work and we strive to be a good good contractor and um that's probably why we have so so many five-star reviews on on the interwebs out there but anyways that's it for nutsh in a nutshell last little scoop here we're finally getting out of here actually i take that back we're actually waiting for some uh we have to pull out some slide out shelves that are going to go in these cabinets that uh, were ordered uh later on to make sure the plumbing everything will fit with the plumbing but as soon as those come in We'll get those thrown in, but uh, we are we are considering this done until we get those in, and that's like a 20-minute job. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Again, Cedar Rapids Construction.